Welcome to the Majestic Truth Podcast. Join us as we delve into the mysteries of the universe, explore the unexplained, and shed light on some of the most important events that have occurred and are occurring in our world today. Get ready to open your mind, expand your horizons, and discover the extraordinary. This is the Majestic Truth Podcast. And now your host, Michelle. Welcome back, truth seekers, to another episode of the Majestic Truth Podcast, the show that explores the most intriguing mysteries and unexplained phenomena from our world and beyond. I'm your host, Michelle, and today we delve into the fascinating world of the latest scientific discoveries, unidentified flying objects, extraterrestrial encounters, emerging conspiracies from today's headlines, and planetary updates from our world and beyond. We'll bring you some of the most intriguing sightings, groundbreaking scientific research, and the latest developments in the quest to understand what lies beyond our skies and the ultimate goal of disclosure. Whether you're a seasoned sky watcher or a curious newcomer, join us as we explore the mysteries of the cosmos and seek the truth behind the unexplained. Let's dive into today's top stories. Before we kick off the show here, head on over to MajesticTruth.com forward slash episode 36 to see the overview of this particular episode. So let's get into it. Our top story on today's episode is the Senate Armed Services Committee set to hold UFO hearing in November. The Senate Armed Services Committee is preparing to hold a UFO hearing after the November election, sparking widespread interest and curiosity. This hearing aims to explore the increasing sightings of unidentified aerial phenomena and their implications for national security. The topic of UAPs has gained significant attention in recent years, with numerous reports of unexplained aerial phenomena, disrupting military exercises, and raising questions about potential threats. The committee's involvement highlights the importance of taking these sightings seriously, given their potential impact on both national defense and public safety. In recent months, there has been a noticeable increase in UAP sightings, with incidents reported near important locations like Malmstrom Air Force Base in Montana. These events have sparked speculation and led to demands for greater transparency from government agencies responsible for investigating these mysteries. The Senate Armed Services Committee plays a crucial role in overseeing national defense and security matters, with responsibilities ranging from military operations to emerging threats and capabilities. The committee ensures that the United States is prepared for any potential risks, including those posed by unidentified aerial phenomena. By holding hearings and demanding accountability, the committee aims to build credibility around UAP investigations, ensuring that any potential threats are thoroughly evaluated and addressed. Senator Kirsten Gillibrand has emerged as a key figure in this arena. Her commitment to investigating UAP stems from a broader interest in national security and transparency. She has been instrumental in pushing for detailed assessments and progress reports from the Pentagon's All-Domain Anomaly Resolution Office, Arrow. Here's some clips of Senator Gillibrand in action. This first one is from her opening remarks at the hearing about the work that the Department of Defense's All-Domain Anomaly Resolution Office was doing back in 2023. In late 2017, media reports surfaced about activities set in motion by the late long-serving Majority Leader Senator Harry Reid more than a decade ago. We learned that there was strong evidence of advanced technology reflected in the features and performance characteristics of many objects observed by our highly, highly trained service members operating top-of-the-line military equipment. We learned that for the, at least eight, the past eight years, military pilots frequently encountered unknown objects in controlled airspace off both the east and west coasts across the continental United States in test and training areas and ranges. We don't know where they, are, they come from, who made them, or how they operate. As former Deputy Secretary of Defense David Norquist observed, had any of these objects had the label made in China, there would be an uproar in the government and media. There would be no stone unturned and no effort spared to find out what we were dealing with. We can look at the recent incursion of the unidentified PRC high altitude balloon for, as an example. Because, and, but because of the UFO stigma, the response has been irresponsibly anemic and slow. Congress established Arrow. We made it clear that we expect vigorous action. 
UAP are frequently observed flying in extremely high or very low speeds and come in various sizes and shapes. During the recent shootdowns over North America, DOD disclo- disclosed that filters on radar systems were adjusted to allow for detection and tracking of diverse sets of objects for the first time. While opening the aperture can overload the real-time analytic process, we cannot keep turning a blind eye to surveillance data that is critical to detecting and tracking UAP. Finally, one of the tasks Congress set for Aero is serving as an open door for witnesses of UAP events or participants in government activities related to UAPs to come forward securely and disclose what they know without fear of retribution for any possible violations of previously signed nondisclosure agreements. Congress mandated that Aero set up a publicly discoverable and accessible process for safe disclosure. The following clips are from a U.S. Senate Select Committee on Intelligence hearing regarding worldwide threats in 2023. In last year's Intelligence Authorization Act, Senators Rubio, Warner, Heinrich, Burr, Blunt, and I created uh, the ARO, the All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office, uh, to break down the stovepipes between the intelligence community and the military regarding unidentified aerial, marine, and other phenomenon, which could pose a risk to the safety of our service members, as well as collection risks, against sensitive facilities and overseas military bases. As recent events have shown, we need more and better sharing between the intelligence community and our military and the stigmatization of the service members and personnel who come forward with this data is unacceptable. By holding hearings and demanding accountability, the committee aims to build credibility around UAP investigations, ensuring that any potential threats are thoroughly evaluated and addressed. So we will have a full report on this after it takes place in November with sound clips and highlights like we did for last year's committee hearing, which you can check out that full hearing review at MajesticTruth.com. We did a special episode covering all of the highlights from that hearing. Check it out. Our next story brings us to Peru. Did AI just discover new ancient symbols in the Nazca Desert? Ever thought AI could dig up ancient secrets? Well, AI helps uncover hundreds of unknown ancient symbols hidden in Peru's Nazca Desert, and it's blowing everyone's minds. The Nazca Desert has always been a playground for mysteries, thanks to its iconic geoglyphs, those massive, intricate designs etched into the ground. These ancient symbols known as the Nazca Lines have baffled historians and archaeologists for decades. But now, tech-savvy researchers are turning to artificial intelligence to decode these age-old puzzles. So who are the key players behind the discovery? Researchers from Yamagata University and IBM Research. Their collaboration has led to some jaw-dropping discoveries. Using advanced AI technology, they've identified 303 new geoglyphs adding a whole new layer to our understanding of the Nazca culture. So what might these symbols mean? From quirky animal figures to bizarre humanoid shapes, these newly discovered symbols are rewriting history. Here are some theories about what these symbols might represent. Religious beliefs. Some researchers suggest that certain geoglyphs could be representations of deities or spiritual beings worshiped by the Nazca people. Astronomical alignments. Others propose that specific shapes may have served as markers for celestial events or agricultural practices. Cultural expressions. It's also possible that these designs were forms of artistic expression or communication among different groups within the Nazca civilization. While these theories are intriguing, further research will be necessary to unravel the true significance behind each symbol. Before getting into how AI is transforming archaeology, let's take a moment to appreciate the unique characteristics of the Nazca Desert itself. This region in southern Peru is known for its vast expanses of barren land and extreme climate conditions. Such factors have contributed to the preservation of geoglyphs over centuries. So, geoglyphs are large-scale artworks created on the ground using various techniques such as earthworks or stone arrangements. They can only be fully appreciated from an aerial perspective, making them challenging to study without modern technology. Let's talk about how AI is transforming archaeology. 
artificial intelligence has emerged as a game changer in various fields, including archaeology. Here's how this innovative technology is making waves in three ways. One, data analysis. With machine learning algorithms, researchers can analyze vast amounts of data quickly and accurately. This includes identifying patterns within existing geoglyph databases or comparing satellite imagery. Two, image recognition. AI-powered image recognition tools enable scientists to detect previously overlooked designs within photographs or videos taken from drones. Three, predictive modeling. By combining historical knowledge with computational models, experts can make predictions about potential locations where undiscovered geoglyphs might be found. These applications demonstrate how AI complements traditional archeological methods by providing new insights and streamlining processes. Next, let's discuss the role of drones and high-res imaging. In addition to artificial intelligence, two other technological advancements have played a crucial role in recent discoveries, drones and high-resolution imaging techniques. Drones equipped with cameras offer an affordable way to capture aerial images over large areas. This allows researchers to survey regions that may be difficult or unsafe for humans to access directly. And high-resolution imaging techniques such as satellite photography or aerial LIDAR, which stands for light detection and ranging, provide detailed views of landscapes from above. These methods help identify subtle variations in terrain that could indicate buried structures or features like geoglyphs. By combining data collected through these technologies with artificial intelligence algorithms, scientists can gain deeper insights into ancient cultures and their artistic expressions. These new finds are nothing short of mesmerizing. Among the depictions of parrots, cats, monkeys, and even killer whales, some geoglyphs feature more abstract representations like decapitated human heads and various humanoid figures. This contrasts with the larger, more elaborate lines and shapes previously discovered, which often depicted animals and plants linked to water and fertility rituals. The recent discoveries add layers of complexity to our understanding of the Nazca culture. The smaller size and different subjects of these new geoglyphs suggest they may have served distinct purposes from their larger counterparts. While older symbols often had ritual significance tied to water or fertility, these newly uncovered symbols might represent everyday life or even kinship groups. AI didn't just speed up the process. It opened a window into aspects of ancient life previously obscured by time. With the initial success rates observed during this research, the potential for further discoveries in the Nazca Desert seems incredibly promising. The AI model's ability to identify 303 new geoglyphs suggests that many more hidden symbols are waiting to be uncovered. The impact of AI on archaeology is nothing short of revolutionary. By uncovering hundreds of unknown ancient symbols hidden in Peru's Nazca Desert, AI has opened a new chapter in our understanding of ancient civilizations. These discoveries offer a glimpse into the daily lives, rituals, and artistic expressions of the Nazca people. Appreciating these technological advancements goes hand in hand with valuing cultural heritage preservation efforts. Embrace the fusion of modern science and ancient mysteries as it paves the way for even more astonishing discoveries ahead. And now for our last story this week. Did Phoenix just become the UFO capital of America? Did you know Phoenix has been ranked the top U.S. city to see a UFO? That's right. With a whopping 323 sightings since 2013, Phoenix holds the crown for the most unexplained aerial phenomena reported. This ranking comes from BetUS, who used data from the National UFO Reporting Center to compile their list. Understanding why urban areas like Phoenix have such high numbers of UFO sightings is fascinating. It's not just about quirky lights in the sky. It taps into our curiosity about what might be out there. For Phoenix, the interest is especially peaked due to its history and unique environmental conditions that seem to favor these mysterious sightings. Let's look into what makes Phoenix a hotspot for these extraterrestrial encounters. 
The National UFO Reporting Center is a key player in understanding UFO sightings. For decades, it has been the go-to source for compiling and verifying reports of unidentified flying objects. Their credibility comes from carefully documenting and examining each sighting report they receive. To paint a clearer picture, Phoenix leads with 323 total sightings since 2013. New York City follows closely with 313 reported sightings. Las Vegas isn't far behind, boasting 309 sightings. Other notable cities in the top 10 include Portland, 279 sightings, Boise, 236 sightings, Los Angeles, 222 sightings, San Diego, 220 sightings, Albuquerque, 216 sightings, Seattle, 209 sightings. This data highlights Phoenix's unique position as a top city for UFO activity. The difference in sighting numbers underscores how distinct environmental and social factors might influence the frequency of reported encounters. So, why is Phoenix a UFO hotspot? Phoenix has earned its reputation as an Arizona UFO hotspot for several reasons. One major factor is the city's unique environmental conditions. Arizona's clear skies offer ideal visibility, making it easier for people to spot unusual aerial phenomena. With minimal light pollution in many areas and a high number of cloudless nights, it's no wonder that people are seeing more unexplained objects in the sky. Shane Hurd, a local expert from the Arizona Mutual UFO Network, provides some fascinating insights. He notes that increased outdoor activity plays a significant role in the number of reported sightings. Whether it's hikers exploring mountain trails or families enjoying backyard barbecues, more eyes on the sky naturally lead to more reports of strange lights and objects. Heard emphasizes that these factors combine to make Phoenix a hotspot for UFO sightings. While other cities also have high numbers of reports, Phoenix's unique blend of environmental and social factors sets it apart. Heard explains that while many sightings still involve classic flying saucers, there's been an increase in reports featuring more unconventional shapes and behaviors such as triangular formations or rapid directional changes. This shift has kept the conversation about unexplained aerial phenomena fresh and interesting. So what are the cultural and economic implications of being a top city for UFO sightings? Phoenix's ranking as the top U.S. city to see a UFO has undeniably weaved itself into the cultural fabric of the community. Conversations about unexplained aerial phenomena have become more common at local gatherings, sparking curiosity and engagement among residents. The city now hosts various UFO-themed events and community sky-watching nights. Platforms like Twitter and Instagram buzz with hashtags like Phoenix UFO, where locals share their experiences and sightings. Phoenix artists have begun incorporating UFO themes into their work, creating murals, sculptures, and even short films inspired by the skies. Increased interest in UFO sightings has led to a spike in tourism. Visitors flock to Phoenix for a chance to witness something extraordinary, boosting local businesses. Companies offer guided UFO tours, taking tourists to hotspots around the city where sightings have been most frequent. And local shops capitalize on the trend by selling UFO-themed merchandise, everything from t-shirts to coffee mugs featuring iconic imagery of flying saucers. Being at the center of UFO fascination brings unique cultural significance to Phoenix while also presenting substantial economic opportunities. The blend of curiosity and commerce creates a dynamic environment that both locals and tourists find intriguing. In conclusion, Phoenix's status as a UFO hotspot is supported by unique environmental conditions and increased outdoor activities, which together foster higher chances of sightings. Phoenix's blend of curiosity and commerce surrounding UFO sightings creates a dynamic environment that captivates both residents and visitors alike. So, wrapping up this episode. Today, we've covered some fascinating ground from the Senate Armed Services Committee's upcoming UFO hearing to AI's groundbreaking discoveries in the Nazca Desert. And finally, Phoenix's reign as the UFO capital of America. All right, truth seekers, that concludes this episode of Majestic Truth. For more information on this episode, visit MajesticTruth.com forward slash episode 36. 
I hope you've enjoyed exploring the depths of the unknown with us today. Remember, the pursuit of truth and the quest for knowledge are ongoing journeys. So stay curious, stay open-minded, always follow your dreams, and keep seeking answers. And if you have your own theories or stories to share about UFOs and other conspiracies, reach out to us on social media or email us at truth at majestictruth.com. Don't forget to mark your calendars and set your alarms because our next episode will be available in two weeks on your favorite podcast app. Trust us, you won't want to miss it. Until then, keep your eyes on the skies, your mind open, and remember, the truth is out there. For updates, behind-the-scenes content, and a chance to engage with fellow truth seekers, stay connected with us on social media. Find us on Twitter at TruthSeekerPod. Instagram at Majestic Truth Seekers and TikTok at Majestic Truth Seekers. Thanks for listening.